everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are making a rather small but large family home. Um, I was I was really struggling when when I recorded this because I recorded this a few days ago and then just kind of waited to do the voiceover because I do my voiceovers once my whole family goes to sleep. Uh, so it's really quiet and plus if I recorded during the day my mom's birds would be awake which they kind of are now which is super annoying of all times to wake up they have to wake up when I uh, when I choose to record but you know what can you do um, but I was I was really lost on inspiration for houses to build I really didn't know what to build. So I went to Pinterest uh, for some ideas and I looked at floor plans. I found some that I liked and I modified them in a way to just make them better because I would find ones and be like, you know what? I like that, but I don't like certain pieces. And that's really nice with The Sims is you can make it the way you want, no matter what. Um, I called this one the full of life house because there are a lot of bedrooms and I fit a lot of kids into this house. If you saw yesterday's um, create a sim, Tiffany, in that, at the end of that, I said I created um, a husband for her and moved her into, I moved her into this house. So I created her husband, I didn't record that, sorry, um, and I gave them four children. <laughs> they had many children. And because I really wanted to, you know, fill up the house really, you know, and just see how well, like, I just wanted to see how well it worked out. And when I was done recording, she kind of was just sitting there in the back of my head. Like, I kind of really want to play her and I want it to be in this house. But I didn't want to stick her in there by herself because, like, that's lonely because it's a huge house full of bedrooms. Uh, so I messed with the floor plan a lot. Obviously, if you look at floor plans for real houses, they're going to have things like laundry rooms and they'll have things like garages with this in it. And, you know, we can't really make garages if the house is on a platform or on a, up on a foundation. And, you know, we don't have laundry stuff. I mean, we have hampers. I mean, I guess I could stick, like, some dishwashers in there and be like, pretend and... Ooh, I could do that. I mean, obviously, it would be a dishwasher. But you, well, I could probably figure out a way to, like, fake a laundry room. Maybe I'll try that. Just kind of fake it. Pretend that it's a laundry room. I would really like laundry. When The Sims 3 added laundry. I hated it. I was like, ugh. Laundry. Why? Who wants to do laundry in The Sims? Doing laundry in real life already sucks. And you have to do it. But then after playing Sims 3 for so long, if you put a hamper in, you know, they like put their dirty clothes on the floor and then you'd have to put in the hamper and wash it. And when you come to The Sims 4, you don't have to do that. And you, know, you had so many things in The Sims 3 and moving to The Sims 4 at the time it had nothing really. And it made me miss laundry. <laughs> For like the only time ever in my life I missed doing laundry in The Sims. Because that was the only place I enjoyed it because I could just drag it into a hamper and then, you know, just put it in the washer. You know, I didn't have to climb two flights of stairs to do it. And it was really nice because my bedroom is all the way on our second floor and unfortunately our laundry is all the way in the basement so I have to go from the second level to the ground level to the basement carrying my laundry I guess it wouldn't be as bad if I didn't wait till the last minute when the hamper weighs a ton because of all the laundry I need to do but you know whatever uh, I spent some time decorating the outside because she does 
love the outdoors. I did want it to feel like she went outside a lot. And really, I was, like, I think I built this after I built her. And she was just in my mind subconsciously. So I think that's why I put so many plants outside. Because I was really just thinking, yeah, you know, just put a lot of life in front of the house and it is called the full of life house not you know so not just you know sims you know but you know and when i played in this house it i added the closets you know which was nice because it used up space that i wouldn't have known what to do with you know because like you can have like a really big big kid room but what are you gonna put in it because pretty much you're just gonna be filling it full of toys in the end and that just kind of makes it look cluttered so the closets taking up the space and like actually having somewhere to put like the dressers and stuff was really nice I loved it uh, playing it in this house I'd probably make them into bathrooms probably not in the master because that it has its own bathroom but I did have so many children and there's only that one communal bathroom, really. And that was kind of annoying to have them all trying to fight over the bathroom. Which is always like a thought, even in real life, buying a house. I mean, I watch HTV, HGTV a lot. And you see these houses where it's like so many bedrooms and then like one bathroom. It's like, why? Everyone's going to be fighting over that because even Sims do it. Everyone has to go pee at the same time. And it, you know, it was just, yeah, you know, uh, I decided when I did the bedrooms, it would have a little girl. And then I did give a, a toddler's room and I did style it as if the toddler were a boy. I mean, obviously that's very easily changed if you did move in and have like a girl toddler. But I had the family that I moved in have a lot of boys. There was the husband. I gave them twin boys, uh, children, and a girl child, and then a little boy toddler who was super cute. I'll probably just, I don't know. He's so adorable. Uh, I spent a lot of time in the master bedroom, bedroom, <laughs> bathroom, uh, really decorating it, trying to make it, you know, not fancy, but more grown up because the other bathroom is so child feeling because there are children, you know, there's a little dinosaur mat and then the flower mat, you know, just trying to make the master bathroom feel more sophisticated, you know? And the wallpaper that I put in the little toddler room, I love that wallpaper. It comes in a really, really bright form, and I, I always loved it, but I was just thought, that bright? You just can't. You can't put that anywhere unless it's a super wide space and only like a little segment because it is so bright. And then I saw that you could change its color, and it was super cool. I loved it. And then this little idea that I had for the rug, I turned the playhouse around so you could see the front. And then that rug has a little path. So I had the path meet up with the path on the little playhouse for the little toddler. And I'm like, who wouldn't do that? That's so cute. If I had a kid, I would do that with a little playhouse. Just, it's so adorable. And I love those rugs. I mean, I may be adult, an adult. But those little rugs with, like, the roads, and you can have, like, a little toy car, and, you know, it, those are super cute. Mainly because I love children things, and I love children, and I want children. A lot. And my mom knows that, but, you know, she's not ready for grandchildren. So, you know, trying not to kill my mom. But I still want kids, you know. Don't want to force her into it, but, you know, I really want kids. So, it'll happen. Hopefully soon. But, you know. Who knows? Uh, I did two, put two lamps in the little girl's room, you know, just like, 
have a little extra light when you're doing homework and then have a little extra light if you're like laying in bed reading. Of course, Sims don't really do that in this pack. I've never actually seen my Sims lay down and read. Of course, I don't let my Sims read. It just annoys me because if you're not having that Sim do something, they will just go read. And then when you tell them to do something, they won't put the book down. And like, I understand for like a bookworm, but it's even like, you know, just... Eh, it just drives me insane. And so I usually never put bookcases in houses. I hate putting them because I know I will just be fighting those Sims over those books. And it drives me crazy. If I download a house from the gallery, like if I see one, I'm like, yeah, that's super cute. First thing I'll do, delete the bookcases because everyone puts bookcases in. Which, you know, it's good to have bookcases, but... <sighs> I mean, yeah, I want my Sims to be happy, but not at the expense of me going insane. Because it drives, it literally drives me insane. It, oh, God, I hate you. <laughs> it makes me very angry. Uh, I went, obviously, with red for the master bedroom. So I did make everything. I went with red and white because that felt more a little more sophisticated. And I did go with red and black in the bathroom. So just to give it a little variety, I went with... As much red and white as I could, I put a lot of curtains over the windows, you know, because even though Sims don't care about the privacy, I care. I care that the Sims have privacy in their own home. Uh, I actually did the kitchen pretty much last, which I never do. I Kitchen's usually the first thing I do. But because I was so focused on the floor plan and what room was going to be what, I was really thinking about the rooms and not kind of the main, you know, living area. You know, like the kitchen, which is usually my first thought because the kitchen is very important. You know, just, I don't know. The kitchen is the heart of the home, even if you don't cook. I don't, well, maybe if you don't cook. It's not. If you don't cook, then what is the heart of the home? You know? Maybe you're just, I don't know, somewhere cozy, I guess. Maybe like, well, if you have guests, probably like the living room because you would have a lot of sitting furniture. You know. You know, if you make meals, you know, the kitchen is just the area of the home that is the most important and in my opinion is always the most important uh, I added I went with a lot of the vampire pack stuff I used the kitchen cabinets I used the living room chairs which I usually don't like I do like the the long one the, like laying couch but the other one kind of drives me crazy but I felt like it kind of worked in this area because I and I was trying to kind of stick with it even though you can't well maybe you could build a whole house no there are some things that didn't come in the vampire pack but and then I added some art in front of the computer uh, you know because you'd want creative like feet like what am I thinking of like just an area of being creative in an area where you could be creative. So like if they wrote, you know, you'd want a lot of pictures and things to stimulate your mind and get you thinking and then just ever it just happens, you know. Um, I messed with the outside a little bit. I moved the llamas because I always have llamas. They're super cute. But if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and a comment and subscribe. And I'm sorry for my rambling. I really don't know what was happening. I just kind of kept talking as I am now. But I will see you in the next video. Bye.